Hey, what is going on guys? It is MM Hawks here back with another video. Uh, now today's not gonna be an entertaining video really. Uh, I'm just gonna be talking about kind of a uh, mad mobile, what's wrong with it, what can be fixed, what's good about it. I'm just gonna be talking about a ton of stuff. Hopefully we can like compress this into a short amount of time. Uh, I don't want this to be like a 20 minute long video. We're looking to shoot for like 10 minutes. Honestly, I don't know what it's gonna be, but yeah, so let's get into this. So first of all, I know a ton of Madden YouTubers have been doing this, or specifically Madden Mobile YouTubers like Just a Bro, uh, Noob Kill, Gods did it. Uh, he didn't really make a video, but he made an Instagram post. Now I'm sticking with Madden Mobile because I have a lot of faith in what's gonna come. But I just want to talk about a few things. I'm not gonna be quitting. Just to let everyone know. And also, this video is coming off what I believe. I'm not gonna be really reiterating what the other YouTubers said because that'd be really pointless. I'm gonna be bringing up a lot of new stuff that they didn't talk about and stuff like that. So let's get into this right now. All right, so I actually wrote down kind of like an essay so I could keep all my thoughts organized. And I just wanted to let you guys know that when I'm writing this and uh, talking to you guys about it, uh, I analyzed everything through multiple perspectives. So that means uh, I kind of thought about this from the uh, perspective of a casual player. So just like anyone that plays the game doesn't put any money in it. Uh, I also uh, analyzed this from the perspective of a grind all the time player. So people that don't really dump money in the game, but they play a ton. Then I also did like the I have an MM social media accounts player player and the I'm an MM YouTuber player so that's myself and then of course from an EA perspective to kind of think uh, or look into what they're thinking because that's really important when we talk about what's in the game all right so the first section is what EA is doing wrong and right there's some stuff they're doing right but I just want to talk about what they're doing wrong all right so the most obvious thing that EA is doing wrong is them being really inconsistent now this is true in what we call the weekly sets namely the flashbacks also something they've been really consistent in is the stats now if you compare a 93 card to maybe like a 95 card of the same player there's a good chance that like half the stats are below the 93 version like uh you'll have one card and uh that'll be 93 overall and have like 80 tackle then you'll look at uh, a 95 edition and they'll have like 60 tackle i think one of the examples of this was like the ha ha clinton Dix. if you compare his all pro edition to his i think team of the week card the stats are whack like it doesn't make any sense it's the same player the same year and everything like I'd maybe get it with flashbacks if they had different skill sets back then but it's literally like the same car or the same player and the stats are just whack I don't understand it and then a lot of other cards will just be completely goofy stats that no one gets and I don't know where they're coming up with this idea but just I don't know that's really confusing how inconsistent they are with that uh, the next thing is something that we as a community complain about way too much and there's a truth to it But that's about content that's having way too low overalls Now what we need to realize is that most of the mm fan base is actually what I call a casual player Meaning they spend zero dollars on the game and they usually have like less than 500k on their team Now these guys simply can't get 99s most of the time They just don't have that kind of coinage and they don't have that time like a uh, amount of time to put into the game now with the that's with the current way ea has the game designed they make it really hard for those players to get 99s now this is why i actually love the non-auctionable sets ea implemented with campus combine and ap promos this gives a chance for the casual players to play simply play the game and have a chance to boost their overall i absolutely love that actually you can just go ahead and grind out and you can get solid 93 overall players that's why i really love the all pro uh, promo because I was just I don't know it, it gave chance a chance for casual players to upgrade their team now, I really like that another thing I want to touch on is that EA needs to spread the overall love across all players for example like I, what I really like is the fan favorite promo because it gives a chance for every level of player to get new players or every level of like uh, M mad mobile player to get new uh, players for their team sorry I had to reuse uh, players uh, but my only issue is that there's no 99 with the fan favorites i mean we're all we're well into the season and 95 wouldn't be bad at all except there's already plenty of 99s like i don't really want that fan base jimmy graham or uh, fan favorite jimmy graham because he's a 95 and all of my tight ends are 95 plus uh, they should really have an option to like upgrade that player to a 99 if you guys know what I'm saying So they already spread the love from like an 84 to a 95 overall But why not add that 99 like I don't understand what the issue would be with that because then you're kind of give you you're making everyone happy You're able to like I said spread the love to every type of player Another example of a big F up by EA was their team of the year promo. I think at the time of its release, the game already had multiple 99s and 98s. So me being an MM addict and my team was already a 98 overall, this promo didn't help me at all. Although for the people that are casual players or grinders with sub 95 overall teams, they loved it. The only way EA addressed the higher overall players was with uh, by giving us the two 98s, the team of the year, uh, Julio Jones and the 98 overall Cam Chancellor. Now I'm a Cam Chancellor fan, so that made me happy. Uh, but a lot of people weren't happy with that. 
which is better than nothing, I guess, but that was a major promo. Like everyone was hyped for that. And last year they gave us like 93 to 97 overalls. And when I say 93 to 97, like a lot of those were really high overall. When in this promo, most of the guys were 91 overall, which was terrible. Uh, an example where they could have done better is giving us different versions of the players, either different overalls like the fan favorites or the non optional way like they did in the all pro. And again, this was a very, very well thought out promo. I really love this by EA because um, it, it was like I said, it spread the love to everyone. It fit perfectly. Uh, you had the non auctionable set and you had the uh, auctionable sets and stuff or like where you could pull the players. So uh, the players that like to grind the game were able to just complete the sets to get the players they wanted. Also, EA. Give us better live events. You guys have done this plenty of times. Like, give me something I can grind for five hours straight to get a 99 overall. Similar to like domination. Like, I, domination was a really good chance for people to get high overall players. But we want more of that. We want to have something we can continuously work for. Like, when you're done with domination and you already like got Gronk and all that, like, what do you do after that? We need to have something we can work for at all times. Now they do this with promos, but recently they haven't been doing it. Uh, they did it with the combine promo, and during the combine promo, a lot of people were playing the game. Like it was really enjoyable. Uh, they also did this during the uh, Pro Bowl event because you could pull those like warriors or whatever. I, I forgot what they were called. They were 98 overall and they had boost. Uh, but people love those, and I want it to be a little bit easier and maybe make it not make it non auctionable Like make their make a auctionable version where you can like pull them, and then do a non auctionable version where you can just build them. Like I want it. I want it the love to be spread to everyone that's how you make everyone happy is you give different versions so that everyone can be happy with it i don't know why they don't do that honestly like again i'm not ea so i don't have all the facts and all the uh, the stuff to say about this but i i think that'd be perfect to do for, or that'd be a perfect idea for them to do now my opinion on pull rates a lot of people talk about pull rates now all i know is i have literal crap pull rates like it is in i opened like 140 million coins because that's when coins were just inflated and you can sell any player for so many coins uh but that's when i had like 140 mil uh over the course of like two or three weeks i was trying to pull vic i was trying to pull ultimate legends and i didn't pull a single limited time out of 140 million like that boggles my mind i don't understand how that happened but I'm just gonna assume I have terrible luck because I know a lot of like casual players that got really lucky and pulled Vic. You know, kudos to them, they got really lucky. I didn't have that luck. So I don't have a lot to say about pull rates because I don't have all the facts for that. So hopefully it gets better for me. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. So let's move on to the next part. Something else that EA should really work on is their communication. Now they definitely did pretty good with this year. They've been talking, but this is something that I think they need to work on. Now surprises are cool and fun. Like when you just have Gauntlet come out one day and you had no idea it was gonna come out before. I mean, that's cool. But it was also at the same time, if I knew about it like three days before, it wouldn't have mattered. But there's some stuff like they should tell us before so we can prepare. Like there's a community of people that stay really like informed. They go on Mutthead, they go on Instagram, they go on YouTube. These are the players that like are looking for early information. And I think EA should kind of reward those guys by giving us early information. Now I'm not talking like game, game breaking information, but like I don't know if an update's gonna come or like if they're working on something they should definitely talk to us about that now i know they do that but i think they should get a little bit better at it because i know they talk on reddit they talk on my head a little bit but i think there could be ways they could kind of just say hey we're working on this or they could keep like an updated blog or something like that i don't know maybe they do and i'm just missing it but i, I think they could definitely work on communication and a lot of people have told me about how uh they think ea could also work on communication all right so that was kind of talking about ea now i'm going to talk about something that like the mm community is doing wrong and right and also some stuff that we kind of keep talking about what we should really stop talking about it now something that's obviously been a huge factor for this mad mobile is coin selling Okay, here's something about coin selling that may blow your mind. It's been around since the day Mad Mobile came out. People want to make money, they're going to sell coins because you can do it in the game. Like, I'm not saying you can do it in terms of service, you can't, but like there is a way in the game where you can sell coins. It is possible and people have been doing it since MM came out. Now, it was out while the game was good. Like people were selling coins when the game was good. So it's not ruining the game, I would say. It survived even against the terms of service. Like EA hasn't like banned it completely. I don't know how they would even do that exactly, but they it survived throughout the whole Mad Mobile history. And to be quite frank, EA really didn't care. The reason it wasn't a big deal was because A, the coins being obtained weren't through hacks, and therefore no masses of coins were being injected in the auction house. So it was all natural coins that people worked to get and then they'd sell them. So there wasn't like, you know, 10 billion coins being pushed into the system and then uh b there weren't sites before that made the distribution extremely easy in other words coin selling used to not affect the average mm player at all 
uh, but now look at like a month ago people were able to buy coins from Asian sites for like a dollar 69 like you could get it literally for a dollar 69 now this was injecting massive amounts of coins into the system uh, the result of this is higher prices and when I say higher prices I'm talking about like if you want to go buy a 99 Michael Vick maybe last year you could have bought him for like you know 10 mil which is a ton but I mean he's super rare and that makes sense uh, but now this year he was going for a hundred a hundred mil like 99.99999 mil and that that amount of coins wasn't even like plausible last year but this year it is because of all these like asian hackers that are injecting so many coins into the system that it's just stuff went crazy like that okay so now that the players prices are higher average players are struggling to upgrade their team and they either quit or they go and buy more coins so they can upgrade their team furthermore inflating the auction house now ea addresses by doing something so that it's harder for these hackers to get coins they did this like a month ago i don't know how they did it but the, uh this means that the coin selling prices have actually risen a ton and a lot of the asian sites can't even sell coins anymore so this means that the mm market uh the mad mobile auction house uh prices are actually dropping a ton and the uh the market's kind of stabilizing a little bit and for example like the michael vick who sold for 99 mil back when the coin rates were so low that people could just get tons of coins now now, uh, now that coin selling has thinned out so much, Vic will sit around like 50 mil, which is still a lot, but definitely more reasonable. So honestly, kudos to EA for that, definitely helping the game out uh, for all, all types of players, casual players and everybody. Another thing I want to talk about is same old, same old. Now when I say that, uh, it's something that bugs the players is the repetitiveness, repeti repetitiveness of Mad Mobile. Now when I got first got into the game, I was like, holy crap man, these graphics and gameplay features are insane for a mobile game. And honestly, I'm sure new players still think that, but then you go look at like NBA Live Mobile and you realize Mad Mobile could be so much better. Every year the graphics have been identical. Also gameplay. Literally the only options for gameplay is league versus league, head to head, and season. I absolutely know EA can implement draft champions. Like hell, I did it. Like if you guys look, I made a video for draft champions and it took me a long time, but I'm a 16 year old kid with a, a video editing editing software. Like there's, I, EA can do it. I can tell you guys, EA can do it. I, I'm actually working on making a game mode myself. And I know that EA can do it. It's the only thing that's stopping them in my mind, I don't know this for sure, is they don't want to make the game too much for a free game. Like they want people to still play Madden console. So I don't know if like the people that work on Madden console are saying, yo mobile, stay away from this. This is our thing. We want all the players to set, uh, spend $60 on Madden. And so don't implement draft champions into Madden mobile. Now what I think they could do is actually make it so you have to pay like a little bit of Madden cash every time you draft, maybe just like 10 Madden cash or something, but that could add up. Like people could spend $5 and they could play like 50 games or whatever, but that would add up between all the users. So I don't know how they should do it, but I definitely think they should do it. Also, I think that they should add live play. Now think about like balloon tower battles here. Like I know they can do it. I've seen games where they do it. And at minimum, they should enable live Bluetooth or local play to test it out. And I know that wouldn't be that hard. You should just be able to like play with a friend, like a live game. There's season mode, so you know that offense and defense can be playing at the same time, if you guys know what I mean. Like, it would work. I know they could do it. I don't know how they would do it, but I've seen games where they do a lot more complicated stuff than making live play. So I'm sure EA can do it. I don't know why they don't do it, but I'm hoping they do. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is randomness. And when I'm talking about randomness, I'm talking about how, like, if you open a pack, you have a random chance at getting a player. Like, last year, they had the signature set, they had the flashback set, they had the ultimate legend set edition set, uh, or pack, where you could, like, open that pack and you'd get a random um, ultimate legend player. And, like, I understand when there's randomness, people don't get what they want sometimes and they get pissed. Now, in the moment, you can be pissed, but overall, the whole if you look at the whole randomness thing it's so much better than just guaranteed sets and players now i'm not going to go into detail on this but if i was ea this is what i would do i'll give players a chance to do sets for players and have a set where you can pull a random player from the promo whether it be the better versions or just the set versions themselves like everyone loved the flashback and signature sets last year why take it away this has literally killed the mm youtube industry like at this point it's so hard to make legitimate content because it's all the same uh, all the same old same old nobody likes that 
especially since EA has taken away the stuff that we actually like. Like videos for me now, I don't know what to do. I don't know what people want and it's so hard to make videos because I just don't know what people want. Now I don't want to do stupid filler videos like Just Bro said before. I don't want to do stupid little things and I don't want to make videos that have been already made. And now EA is not giving me a whole lot to make because there's not a lot of creativeness I can do because it's all sets. Nobody wants to see me filling out sets. They want to see packs. They want to see theme teams. They want to see strategies. They want to see game plan stuff like that. And EA is making it really hard for YouTubers to do that. That's why so many people are quitting or video content has just been uh, subpar. Another thing I want to say to you guys is that a lot of people are complaining about stats and overalls, but they mean nothing. Stats and okay, so stats and overalls literally mean nothing at all until you compare them to other players. Like a 60 speed Le'Veon Bell could be super, super fast when you compare him to a defense that is all 45 to 50 speed. The number doesn't mean anything. It only means it's comparing to other players. You know what I mean? So like if EA is trying to do lower stats so they have more room to work, because the last few seasons they've had to resort to going over 100 on stats. So they brought it lower this year so that they could work up to a 99 and they'd have more time to do that and they wouldn't have to push themselves over 100. So don't complain about low overalls and stats. What really matters is comparing them to other players you're playing against. Now I know in Mount Mobile it's kind of like an overall grind, you just want to get your overall high and I understand that, I, I see that too, but it, in the grand scheme of things most players are just playing to like play the game and it's all about stats comparing to others. Now the thing about that also is that EA hasn't been consistent, I talked about that earlier, uh, if they want to be doing this they need to keep it consistent, they can't just have one player be super juiced in certain parts of his card and then have super crappy ones and then like have another player be the complete opposite you know what i mean they need to keep stuff consistent and they need to just stick with like a method of doing stats i don't know what that is exactly they could figure that out they're a huge company so i know they can do it but one thing that people have always come to me about is how inconsistent the stats are and how just trash they are like you shouldn't have a 95 overall card compared to a 93 overall card and that 95 card has a ton a uh, ton of stats that are worse than a 93 it just doesn't make sense i don't nobody gets it to finish off this video, I want to say some final words. Thank you, EA, for creating a game I love. Now, everyone needs to relax about all the stuff EA is doing wrong and just realize this is a free game. I'm a YouTuber. I've dumped money into this game. Other YouTubers have dumped a ton of money into this game. And I mean, even then, we don't have a right to be like mad. We chose to put the money in the game and they give us back something that's great for free like we put money into the game as our own choice but it's a free game guys we need to stop being so pissed it, it's a fun game it's better than most mobile games in like the grand scheme of things i mean what else is there flappy bird you want to compare this game to flappy bird it's it's not you know honestly it i don't know i people i just get really pissed when people like say it's crappy game or they say well uh ea is stupid or ea totally scam me or jit me or whatever it's a free game guys you can't be that pissed when it's free. I, I, I know I said it's free a ton of times. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I just, just get that in your head. It's a free game. You need to relax. All right. And trust me, I've gotten hardcore tissed at pull rates, but in the end, they're not entitled to anything. Hell, we wanted the scramble button and we got it. We wanted better speed and we wanted better uh, gameplay and we got it. They've been upgrading and working on it. Uh, we wanted coin selling fixed EA addressed that they didn't fix it. And I see why they didn't fix it. That's a hard thing to fix, but they addressed it. Now we can beg and plead, but ultimately EA knows a lot more than us and they want more money. So they're going to do whatever they can to keep the most amount of people happy. Now, a lot of the community, people that watch YouTube and stuff, it's a very minuscule part of the overall uh, people that play Madden. You have about 90% of the people that play Madden are casual players that might not even ever watch a YouTube video. You never know. And that's not an exact percentage, but right around there. You guys know what I'm saying. So they're just trying to please the people that play the game the most. So you got to keep that in mind. Like if you're in 102 overall, you're part of the minority of the game. So don't get pissed when they don't give you a 99 overall every promo. So if that means putting out 93s because most Mad Mobile players are 92 overall, then so be it. But I feel like EA should be able to find a way to spread the love to all players. Now, a summary of this long video because I made this really, really long. Like, holy crap, I'm looking at the time. We're at like 24 minutes. Uh, but EA, please just think about all types of players for your promos and become more consistent with the stats, overalls, and promos. Also, give us something new for gameplay like live, local play, or draft champions. Uh, to the community, please, please, please be patient. EA knows people are unhappy. Trust me. It's just a matter of making 
making decisions that they believe to be finite uh, financially beneficial all right guys so i covered about all i could i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment down what you think if you made it through this whole video then kudos to you because this is gonna be a long video i'm hoping i can cut it down but anyway uh yeah i hope you enjoyed it comment down below what you like about madden mobile and comment what you don't like because for everything you don't like there's something you also like uh anyway yeah so mm hawkins out guys peace make sure to sub if you're new because i post uh not a lot lately but i'll definitely be posting more if i can you know get get into the flow so yeah deuces guys